it's your Casey Mango Shame. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we're going to be continuing with Wonder Vision and we're going to be watching episode five. Oh guys, we have been taken on an absolute roller coaster of a ride with this show. It's so good and it's just unstoppable. Everybody's loving it. There's so many theories flying around the internet. And again, this show is just brilliant and I can't stop thinking about it because it's just so good. I recommended this show to my sister and her boyfriend and they have been loving it and absolutely obsessed. Again, uh, let's jump into uh, like theories because this is the 80s episode actually. So with the advertisement, I'm thinking it's going to be Ultron or Pietro because Wanda, not Wanda, excuse me, Elizabeth Olsen has been talking about a certain cameo that's going to come up. So a lot of people have been saying it's either going to be Magneto, um, or Ultron himself, but you know, like it, it, like she was scaling it on the aspect that it's going to be as big as spoilers for the Mandalorian, but the Luke Skywalker cameo, and I was like, mm, you have to be pretty high for it to be that amazing, because that's on a different level. We've been waiting for that Luke Skywalker moment for years, but with this one, I'm thinking it might be Magneto, so it might be Michael Fassbender, it might be Ian McKellen. Um, I'm not sure about anyone else at the moment, but mm, it, 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 yeah, we'll see. Um, also, with the tension, I'm guessing we're going to see a little bit of like that like interruption with the realm and stuff, this alternate reality, I guess. So it's going to be interesting. Oh god, it's like... If you guys hear a lot of rain and thunder, I apologize, because uh, it's, it's, it's not looking too good outside. <laughs> also, I tried to do my makeup 80s. It sort of turned a little bit gothic. Um, I don't know why, but it did. Uh, <laughs> I really tried, but like, hopefully next week it'll be a little bit more like, oomph, like really good color. I don't know why. I was going to do pink and blue, but then I was like, let's try this blue one. And then by the time I finished, I was like, oh shit, it's time. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy that little aspect. But anyway, let's jump into this react. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. Why would I do what I want? highly sensitive material from S.W.O.R.D. headquarters. Until very recently, it was the top secret <gasps> location of the Vision's corpse. <gasps> oh! So she took the corpse! Oh shit, they took him apart? Oh damn, you do not do that to her. Nine days ago, Maximoff stormed our facility, stole the Vision's body, and resurrected. Let's work the problem, people. Shit, so it's correct! At least one of my theories was correct. She did take the body, but who resurrected it? Scoot. Oh, a puppy! Oh boy. Oh. Well, she didn't notice. She didn't even notice when the boys went from babies to five-year-olds. This is all being agreed upon. You made no effort to conceal your abilities. Well, I'm tired of hiding this. Oh no. Ten years old. Uh oh. Are they gonna grow to ten years old? What the? Oh. Please, please help me. What day is it? You have to stop her. Stop who? She's in my head. None of it is my own. It hurts. It hurts so much. Just make her stop. Just make her stop. Oh, bless. 
the That's amazing acting though. Good on that guy. But pausing because goddamn. Oh shit, this episode's really short. I just realized. But is it short? No, no, no. Actually, it's quite long. 40 minutes. But anyway. Oh, things are going quick now. So we know for sure that it is Vision's body brought back to life. Um, we're not sure how and who, but... Mm. It still could be Mephisto. I'm still holding up to that hope. Um, I'm guessing maybe that it's still a theory, but Agnes is Agatha Harkness. A lot of people are saying that, especially after what she said. Let's take it from the top. Like, she knows what's going on. So I'm thinking that Agnes is Agatha Harkness, just because it, like it's, it's sort of clicking into place that it might be like her, but anyway, it, it, it might be. But um, who, uh, who, what else is happening? Um, the Hex Powers. Wanda's hex powers, obviously, um, but also um, the computer getting the message and then Vision knows what's going on now, like, that everyone in this world that he's in is, like, mind-controlled by Wanda, so... <laughs> Wonder what's gonna happen, but anyway. Oh! Oh, shit! Disregard. Take the shot. What? What? Oh, the drone isn't armed. Take the shot. <gasps> what did you, you do? You piece of shit. <gasps> this will be your only warning. Oh shit, her axe is back. Stay out of my home. And no one will ever take it from me again. He was in pain. Watch TV. Turn into the night so you can change everything over again. Not wonder. Shit. Shit. Control me the way you do now. Can I? Wanda. Family. Wanda has a family and he can't reach them because you won't let him reach them. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop lying to me. to just collect myself but god damn a lot of people including me and Alex have been saying that this might happen because 
Oh, Jesus! That Evan Peters is coming into the MCU. Um, this is because... Yeah, well, yeah, there's a multitude of theories, um, and it just, yeah, obviously it seems like this particular Quicksilver doesn't obviously know Vision, so if it was the Aaron Taylor Johnson one, it obviously would, because he's met Vision, but because this Vision is, yeah, so universes are sort of colli colli yeah, colliding because she's changing reality, so obviously... That Evan Peters, not that Evan Peters, sorry, that Quicksilver is coming into this universe to sort of substitute the position of Quicksilver because the other one's dead. Damn! That's so cool! And obviously for Wanda it's just she just accepts it because that is maybe to her eyes in that moment that's um, Pietro. Damn, that's a lot. And yet, they weren't twins but there was a, he did have a little sister in... X-Men. I remember that. Another, like, a little sister. Damn. Shit. Oh, dude. I'm so excited for the next episode already. This is gonna be so good. Um, anyway, sorry. That, that last bit. I was thinking either it's Ian McKellen or it's Evan Peters. God damn. But this episode was so intense on so many levels. So, rewinding it. The babies grew up real fast. Um, and... Again, going back to Agatha Harkness, well, Agnes, it just seems like, like, because, especially with that moment at the beginning where she was like, oh, let's take that from the top. Um, it's like, and in this sort of situation in the comics, like, there are different comics, obviously, with the storyline, that Agatha Harkness was there and was sort of like, o like, overwatching, sort of like, that sort of thing. Um, it is possible that that is Agatha Harkness, and it just seems like she's always magically there all the time, so it makes sense if that's her. I wouldn't put, put it against it, because a lot of people are saying it's becoming true. Jesus, I still can't get over that Evan Peters thing, but, um, we did have another animal in this episode. My theory, I'll just explain it, was that because Mephisto in the first ever comic he came up with is, um, a f well, com came up in, was a fly. And he is known for changing into humans, but he's also changed into animals. So, in every single episode beside the episode with Monica, um, and just all that sort of, like, modern day stuff happening, um, there wasn't an animal. But in every other episode there has been an animal. We've had the lobster, the, that bird, and, what was the other thing? Some, uh, eh, uh, the rabbit. Um, and also, especially with the bird, the bird wouldn't disappear even with Wanda's magic. So even I was thinking, it's a possibility that it's because it's Mephisto. Mephisto was a lot stronger than Wanda is. Even though Wanda is one of the strongest Avengers, or just heroes, she, like, he is also very, very powerful. So I was guessing that that might actually, the animals that do come up might be him. I'm not sure why the dog was dead though in this episode like obviously it's a, a good story concept for the kids to obviously like talk about death and even for Wanda to talk about it but I'm wondering if that was because of Agnes or if it was because of maybe what Wanda did you know like she came out of the realm she came back in and maybe that sort of alternated something or like caused some trouble to happen I'm guessing maybe interesting or it might have just been Agatha maybe because uh, I don't know if Agatha Harkness and Mephisto are ever like like co- not co-workers but you know like they're allies. I don't think they are so I might do some homework on that and I'll talk about it tomorrow in the aftermath. If you guys don't know what the aftermath is it is a podcast I do with the Basildon Brothers. We talk about the shows that we like particularly WandaVision at the moment and we obviously an analyze it. We talk about the pros and cons of each episode that we enjoyed and talk about possible theories that may happen in the future episodes or in this case in the future movies that are coming for the MCU. So yeah that was one of the theories I was talking about there and we were talking about the fact that Agatha Harkness might be in the show as well but um yeah Jesus this episode was so good oh it's great I will say Evan Peters not as exciting as the Luke Skywalker thing but it is exciting because it's cool to see these universes melding together um so I am very very excited to see what happens in the next episode and like the interactions with Evan Peters um character which is obviously Quicksilver with Wanda as Vision but a lot of people another theory just quickly before I wrap up the episode is that um quick that he might even be Mephisto so 
It is a possibility. I wouldn't be surprised. He is an amazing actor. And, I mean, like, if he plays Mephisto, that's gonna be awesome. And it'll be cool to see how that sort of, like, like, fuses into him being Mephisto. Like, whether we see him transform into him or something else. I, I'll be excited to see where that goes. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode, episode 5 of WandaVision. I absolutely loved it. I think this is my favourite episode by far. And then episode 3 comes in next because oh, it was so, so, so good. Also, just touching upon it, Vision knowing the truth now. He knows what's up and he's angry. But also the fact that he can't remember anything from his previous life, not previous life, but he can't remember anything before this show, like, that's intense because just like, he knows he has these powers and stuff, and it's just, it's interesting. He, he, he knows something's wrong, and he's, he's trying to figure it out, and he's onto it. And damn, he's mad at Wanda, you can tell. So I wonder what's gonna happen, and if he does escape, that's gonna be very interesting. Um, I will say that I know that there has been a trailer that has come out, but I do not want to see anything to do with the future episodes, and especially I'm kind of disappointed that they released a mid-season trailer. Like, we don't need one, necessarily. Especially because of the fact that I see it everywhere now, and I have to avoid it at all costs. Even TV, like, yesterday, bless my parents, it was their 26th wedding anniversary, and we were having dinner together. And all of a sudden, I turn and look, and I saw, like, something from this episode. Nothing too big. It was, like, Wonder in her, like, 80s, like, hair and stuff. And I was like, no, no! And I screamed. I was like, no, 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 And my parents are sitting there like, oh, it's a... a uh, 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 spoiler? I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love my parents, they put up with my bullshit all the time. But yeah, they, they, they understand the pain I go through with like avoiding spoilers. So that's why I was like, la 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 la. That's why I was really disappointed because I was like, you don't need a mid-season trailer. Like we're hooked to it already. We don't need anything. But anyway, it's fine. Just I hope they know that they don't need a trailer. We're already hooked. We don't need any of that because otherwise it's just going to spoil it because there's now, with this episode out, there's four, four episodes left. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, God, it's going to be so good. I can't wait to talk about all this tomorrow in the aftermath. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Vanger out. Woo!